Hello Starlight, I hope your week has gone well, and if not, I hope it gets better. In my previous video, I did a wrinkled peach mushroom, and while I was away, I wanted to add these rosy pink sakura flowers, and add more shading and a bit more vegetation, as if I'd taken photos of her in the garden. In today's video, I'll be showing you a unique mushroom formation, which is called a fairy ring. The formation is caused by an underground fungal organism called a mycelium, where it produces a circular formation of fruiting bodies of mushroom species. A bit like a tree. There's a lot of interest in English folklore and stories about them, where it's believed that fairies would either sit or dance in a circle and leave these rings as evidence of their presence. In some parts of France and Austria, it's also believed that they were caused by dragons swishing their tails and scorching a fiery patch for mushrooms to form. There's also an English folklore superstition that bathing in these fairy rings do will cause blemishes or simply stepping inside of the ring will cause a hundred years of unconsciousness. The most common formation, which is the mushrooms themselves, would be either squash bonnets, puffballs or, or fly agaric mushrooms. I decided to do the classic, which is the fly agaric, which I either seen a lot in fantasy and even Mario and Luigi games. The girl that I'm drawing is my friend Angie and her tag on Instagram is called Angnessa, who I highly recommend that you check out. She takes coordinated fashion photos and cosplays where she often uses her braids, colours instead of wigs, which is very highly impressive to me because I always find wigs, volumise it and style it. This whole image reminded me of a magical girl transformation, similar to Sailor Moon if you've watched that and I loved every moment of doing her braids. I wanted to experiment with lighting from the underneath the source and I really liked how it brought her to life. And it's as if we're witnessing her transform in real time. Her eyes being closed, the pose. It's all to emphasize her willing to grow and bloom. And I as a painter captured this intimate moment of her growth, her delicate pink dress and the colors and the pink itself is a sense of calm and kindness, which is a bit of colour psychology. For the glowing effects, I used a coloured pencil just to shade around the mushrooms and also to bounce off of parts of her body. finished i hope that you enjoyed this video please leave a like or a comment it really helps out thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one